everybody, Ann here, and you know what? I think it's time to harvest that mushroom and fry it up in a pan. Goodness, look at how big they've gotten. They've gotten mighty big. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and harvest this one. I'm just going to take a handy dandy little sharp knife and cut it off the tree, and hopefully, I don't ruin it. <laughs> Got it. Now I just need to take it inside, clean it up a little bit, make sure there's no bugs in it, and I'm going to slice it up. This is going to be delicious. Just look at how beautiful that is. So I'm going to cut this stem off of it because I'm not going to eat that part and clean it up a little bit. I'm going to trim up some of the edges, some of these areas I'm not going to eat. There's dirt on them and uh, little holes there, checking to make sure there's no bugs. So far I haven't seen any bugs. But this is one beautiful mushroom, and I picked it, I think, at about the right time. I didn't want it to get too much older because they get too tough to eat. So, well, let me clean this up and slice it up. I've just cut them away from the stem, and now I've got them in water. I'm not going to really soak them. I'm just kind of massaging them, making sure there's no bugs in them. I'm going to examine them even closer. I've cut off any areas that look like they were yucky. Um... And then we're going to batter this and fry it up in a pan. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. The first thing I'm going to do is drag them through some flour that has been seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic. Get that all mixed up. And just get them all coated really nicely. I'm getting flour all over the place, but that's okay. I'll clean it up. I have a broom. And just keep doing this until they are all nicely, nicely coated. It's going to be so good. They are nicely coated, and with the rest of that flour, I'm going to add it to one egg and a little bit of milk. I use reconstituted non-fat powdered dry milk, um, but it still works for me. And I'm just going to stir it up until it's all mixed. If it's too thin, I'll just add a little bit more flour. Yep, I think that's good enough. Now I'm just going to... Put all the mushrooms in there all at once and just get them all nice and coated up and then get my pan ready. I've just put each of them into hot oil and once they get browned on that side, I'm going to turn them over. I'll just turn the heat down a little bit because it was a little high. I don't want them to burn on this first side. Let's see what they look like. They've only been going like a minute. Mm, almost done. Almost done on one side. I'm just going to move them around the pan a little bit because these little, uh, these little cooktop thingies, they kind of concentrate the heat in one area. So we'll let the, those go a little bit longer, and then hopefully it'll be time to turn them over. All right, there's one. It's ready to be turned over. I think I'm just going to turn them all over. If I need to turn them over again, if they need to be brown or cook more, I can, I can just do that. Yeah, it's looking good. Turn that one over. Yeah, that one needs to be done a little bit more. Oh, these are going to be good. Oh my goodness. They are really going to be good. Okay, let's let them get a little bit more brown. And maybe they'll be done by the time I come back. And there we have it. I'm trying to get it in the sun. These are all the mushrooms. Don't they look like chicken fingers? And with the extra batter, I just made some fritters. So, hmm, let's take a little bite. Let me try a small one. Mmm, 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 mmm. Check it out. It does taste like chicken, and the consistency is like chicken, too. Very good. Let me buy a bigger one. Mm, let me buy this one. See what it looks like on the inside. Doesn't that look good? See that? <laughs> it's definitely mushroom. And I know you guys are going to ask. Betty is sitting right here wanting some. She doesn't get any of the mushrooms. No, I don't feed Betty mushrooms. She will get a fritter once they cool down. Let me try a fritter. Mmm, 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 mmm. Those turned out perfect too. Oh, flavor's really good. 
All right, so you know what? This has turned out great. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. I'm going to go eat. Yum. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.